in on its chest or solar plex area, right? What I like to do is I like to bunch both of his lapels together and grab. You can have the palm down, you can turn your knuckles in. Why do I have my hand there? Let's try and sit up. So that he can't sit up, okay? I'm not too high up here to, to where it's exposed my arm for an arm bar, all right? I'm just like where a solar plex is or maybe a little lower. Okay, this chest. All right? Okay? <laughs> That's what's so, wrong. We'll be here, palm down, or knuckles in. It's up to you. Another thing I like to do is I like to control the belt. Have my elbow in. Sometimes the belt gets untied when you spar, so I like to grab uh, the pants, kind of like where his hip are, his hip is. Have my elbow in. All right. Same path I teach all the time to open up the clothes guard. All right. I don't, I don't like opening up the clothes guard unless I got a sleeve. All right. So let me get your sleeve. So if his sleeve is in this general area, I'm gonna grab it. If it's just hanging out there, I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna grab. It. Elbow comes back in. All right. If his hand is like this, don't reach for it. Arm bar, right? So if it's around here, most likely it's gonna be. It's gonna be grabbing here, he's gonna be here, and maybe I can break the grip, back hand back on the chest, and I got the sleeve, right? Or just for, for just for simplicity, look, he's just gonna have his hand right there, ready for you to grab. Get the sleeve, elbow in. Now, since my left hand controls the sleeve, I'm gonna step up with my left foot. Because if I step up with my other foot first, he can touch my leg, he probably set me up for arm bars, we'll plot up and things like that, all right? So, I grab his sleeve, parallel leg steps. My chest is out when I step, my head is up. Now, sometimes I teach to put your leg here and then stand. You can do that, but you're risking the guy hooking your, uh, in your foot and taking you like on a waiter sweep, all right? So what I do, as soon as I step, I just rise up on that leg. I don't step towards him, I just stand here. Let go of his chest, my hips forward. My elbow is still in. If my elbow is out even a little bit, in plot of me, you can get caught in a little plata. Make sure you're really aware about your elbow being in. Now, since my hand that was initially controlling his chest, I'm gonna let go, my hips are gonna go forward, my back is gonna be straight. I'm still looking up. Now my hand is gonna grab the inside of his knee here. Now I'm gonna pin his knee to the ground. I'm gonna push it down as I step back with that same foot. Okay, and look, I'm gonna let go of his sleeve. Come under and grab the top of his thigh here. Now check this out. Since my right hand is pinning his knee on the mat, I'm gonna lean forward and put my right shoulder on his stomach. As I do that, I'm gonna walk my legs outside of his, my, my feet outside of his legs here. Okay, see how long my toes the whole time? There's a lot of pressure on you right now, Carl. Yep. Okay, now my shoulder's on a solar flex again. If I go to my knees, that alleviates the pressure. Stay on your toes. Okay, don't let go of this until your legs are out of his legs, until you pass his guard almost. And you're gonna let go, I guess I can block his hip. Okay, so we're gonna open the guard, and we're gonna do an over under pass. Okay. Side of the knee. At the same time I push down on his knee, I step back with that same right foot. Okay? And I keep my hand on his knee there. Let go, come under, grab the top of the thigh. Since my right hand is pain his knee, my right shoulder is gonna go on a solar plex here as I walk out of his guard. I am on my toes here. Once I'm out, I let go of everything. Block his hip, and do it like his head. Get my side control position. Is that one? I'm 
really pushing this leg down as I pass. And hugging and blocking this hip. So again, bunch the lapels together. In there. Controlling this hip. You're gonna let go of this hip and get a sleeve. Your elbow's still gonna be in. Chest up, head up. It's really important you're not slouched when you stand up. Because when I do that and I go, then I go to stand up, it's going to be easier for him to break my posture down. I really exaggerate it. Look up, have your chest out. Have your chest out like a lion <laughs> on the plains of Africa looking for wildebeest. All right? <laughs> then I stand. One, two. Okay, grab the inside of the knee. I'm going to push down and step back. Pin his knee on the mat. Let go. Grab the thigh. You can grab the pants if you want. Shoulder down and just walk out of his guard. Onto my toes. Let go of everything. How's he tight and block the sit? Take side control. Cool? Can we do it? Ready. This is uh, his thigh here, or I can grab it. It's up to you. My left hand is cupping his thigh. I'm gonna drop my left knee on the mat because I need to load up his shoulder, I mean, ah, his leg up onto my shoulder, right? I can't just do it like this. He's gonna make his leg heavy, right? So I drop my knee to load it up. Now once I'm here, I'm gonna grab my thumb inside of his collar and I'm just gonna drive into him. I keep his knee pinned on the mat the whole time. I get on my toes, walk towards his head. Lift your head up slightly, all right? His leg should be shaving your face right here as you pass, okay? When you get to this position, and you drop your knee to load up his leg, you need to be pushing into him, okay? See my foot that's planted on the mat? I'm using that foot on the mat, my leg, to push. Okay, my thumb goes inside, I push. Now when I'm ready to put more pressure, I go on both my, I go on both, uh, on my toes. And I walk towards his head. Slowly I lift my head up. Okay, I don't want to go like this when I pass his guard. <laughs> Try to go around his leg. It's not gonna work, he'll just throw his leg back over. Okay, that's why when you go, you gotta get on your toes, push into him, walk. Slightly bring your head up, then hug and block his head. So, I'll do this, the whole thing again. So here. Steps. Around. I need to load up his leg up onto my shoulder so I drop my knee. Load it up. I keep his knee pinned on the mat. Um, I continue to grab the fabric of his knee because if I'm just cupping his, his, uh, his, his knee there, pull my arm in, this can happen to you. So I keep that grip. Try to, pull, try to break that grip. It's going to be harder for him to break that and get a triangle on me than it is here. All I've got to do is pull here if I'm not if I'm not making a grip. So I keep my grip. Get my thumb inside. I drive my knee, drive his knee towards his face. Get on my toes and I walk towards his head. Slowly lift my head. That's a karate class. Hug his head, block his hip. Ah, uh, jujitsu class, man. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Later. <laughs> so I'm gonna one more time. My grips, one, two, three. push down, step back, go, cut the thigh, drop my knee, load up his leg, thumb inside the collar, drive, get on my toes, walk towards his head, hips up, hug and block the hip. Cool? Alright, next we'll work on the crane stance. Alright, one, two, three. <laughs>